And we got a skill point we have to spend too, but let's just wait for this workbench to finish before we do that so I don't forget. Because, you know, old guy and forgetting are synonymous. Welcome back everybody to Ravenhurst. I'm an old guy gaming and in this episode we are going to do some looting. Um, I got to thinking about something. I, I kind of made a little bit of a mistake in that I used up my, my cheaper wrench, uh, wrench and cars a couple episodes ago. I should not have done that. I should have hung on to it so we could use it to make the workbench once we found the hammer, uh, which we did in the last episode in case you didn't see that. So, um... I'm thinking maybe what we'll do is we'll, this is the only wrench I currently have. Um, so I'm thinking what maybe we'll do is we'll, we'll just go start looting some houses. We got to pick up a lot of other stuff, you know, for the compost uh, quest and all that anyway. And then, um, you know, hopefully we'll come across another wrench and then we'll make our, our workbench. And so, yeah, that's the plan for today. The other thing is I talked about in the last episode, maybe moving to that bigger town and we might still do that. <clears throat> but we still have a lot of stuff around here that we haven't, you know, that we haven't looted yet. Um, we've hit a lot of stuff in this town, but we also have this town over here that's got a lot of things too. So I think we're going to stick around here for a while longer um, before, you know, we decide to move if we decide to move, you know, because we have a trader here too. I did not see a trader in that other town. I wasn't actually looking for one, but I didn't see one. So that's another reason why it might not be a bad idea to stay here Um this, you know, this rooftop here on the booby traps, not, it's not my intention for this to be our ultimate base though, either. So just kind of keep that in mind. Uh, we're just, you know, things are, the progression is so much slower in this mod, even more than undead legacy, um, that it's just, it's taken me such a long time, you know, to, to get to the point where we can do stuff like that, but we will, you know, eventually get there. At least that's the plan. Now I did put a land claim block back down here and most of my stuff I can pick up. So you see, I can, I can pick it up there. Um, the things that I can't pick up, <clears throat> excuse me, are my storage boxes, uh, which kind of sucks. But, you know, if we have to make new ones. We have to make new ones. And I can't pick up the compost bin. I'm holding E on the compost bin and nothing's happening. Maybe it's because it doesn't have anything in it yet or something. I don't know. But everything else, our water filtration, you know, all of these appliances down here, even our, our little bench here, even though not that, you know, that's really easy to make. We can pick that stuff up. So when the time comes, we will be able to move. Um, you know, most of these crafting stations to our ultimate destination. One other point I want to make is that I'm recording this episode back to back with the previous episode. So I haven't seen any of your comments yet. So keep that in mind. Um, not that that matters because it'll already be water under the bridge by the time you see this one. <laughs> uh, anyway. Okay. So yeah, let's, uh, let's just get started right now and go do some looting. Um, I think there's still probably a couple more POIs in this, in this town that we haven't fully looted. Um, so that's the plan. Uh, let me just make sure we've got grilled fish. We've got a, a pure mineral water plus all these. So we're, we should be good on food. I also have in here seven dried jerky uh, plus canned food. Plus we know that the vending machines have reset. So we're doing okay on food. I don't think we need to do anything uh, with food for this episode. All right. So that being said, let's put our pick in this slot and our green axe in this slot. And we're going to go looking for a wrench, and we're going to be looking for all of this kind of stuff that we're going to need uh, to do our compost. Now, I don't believe we ever completely finished Fat's Foods. I think we did all of BJ's welding. I think. I'm pretty sure that we did. I don't think we ever finished Fat's Foods. We've, we've tr attempted to get in there a couple of times, but the zombies just always overwhelm us. And so um, let's just see how far we can get. I don't want to spend half this episode killing 50 zombies um you know which is kind of what usually happens <laughs> uh in this mod so you know let's just see if we can loot without having to completely you know kill everything off as best as we can and if we get overrun we might just run away and hit a, another poi instead but i'm pretty sure that i'd never fully looted this place so let's um let's go ahead and do that. Oh man, those guys can all come up the ladder, can't they? Damn it. Forgot about that. Well, if we only have to deal with these two guys, we might be okay.
Okay, let's see if we can get in here without waking up everybody that's outside. There's a toilet. Oh, man. Once we do get in here, we're not getting back out. Or, yeah, actually, we should be able to jump up on that. Can we close that door? Yeah, okay. So let's loot. I think we did get the attention of everybody outside, though. Oh, nice. We'll take those. Okay, we actually need poop. We actually need poop this time. There we go. There's our three healthy turds. <laughs> oh, man, awesome. Okay, this is... Uh, I think this is just stuff to scrap, right? Whoops. Yeah, there's nothing else. Uh, we've already read that, so... Uh, we will scrap this and we'll take the oil. Let's close that because those zombies still could get up on the roof. we got a backpack down here with, uh, with some ink in it. Okay, yeah, I guess we'll take that too. Alright, what do we got going on in here? Zombies in the roof. Trying to get through the fan there. Okay, we do have sleepies in here. That door is locked. How many sleepers do we have in here? We got a cheerleader. A Marlene. Okay, let's deal with Marlene and cheerleader. Oh, and crawler too, damn it. Okay, we don't want crawler breaking our legs. Oh, shit! All right, she's dead. She's dead. All right, we're getting close to the point in time where we need to uh, think about repairing our pitchfork before it breaks. It's got really good durability, though. I just have to keep an eye on it and not forget, you know? Look at all the zombies trying to get in here. Yeah, you know what? I don't think... I don't think we're going to be too successful looting this whole place. Every time I've tried to do it, I just get overrun. And yeah, I could kill them, but I mean, it'll, it'll literally take me 20 minutes to kill this many zombies with our, you know, limited killing ability at this time. So let's just loot as much as we can, and then we'll move on to someplace else. What we need to be doing is hitting... Oh, shit, they're through. We need to be hitting um, sinks. Okay, let's go on out this way. So the majority of them are all just messing around here. Let's get our mini bike and just move to a new location, you know, on the other side of town, hopefully away from the majority of these guys. Okay, she's dead. Let's check the sink. We need a pipe wrench. No pipe wrench. All right, well, we'll loot the rest of this. And we did get tagged, too, so let's take a bandage since we can now make bandages and have some spares, which is a nice situation to be in. Close that. What do we got in here? Um, can't see it. I think it's a purse. Oh, no, it's food. Uh, oop, right there. You know what? I'm going to just eat that right now. We got some ices too. Look at that, man. Let's have one of those, too. Okay, I'm going to get rid of these things because we're getting a bit heavy. And anything else we can get rid of? Yeah, let's just, let's trash the murky water. We don't need to carry that around. It's useful, but, you know. Um, should we... Let's chance this, and if we get dysentery, we've got goldenrod. Okay. Good to go on that, too. Just freeing up a couple slots here. Just 
this is just going to give us iron stuff. We should probably start scrapping some of that and taking it with us, though, just because it's still kind of a challenge to get um, iron in quantity at this point. Nothing in there. Okay, so we got a bookshelf in here and a toilet. But we've already got the dookie we need for the for the first thing. Uh, survival guide. I don't know what that just did for us. Does that do anything at all or did I just waste those? I don't know. Alright, I'm not going to loot everything, guys. Um, I'm really just kind of after sinks and, you know, more... Oh, shit! That scared me. <laughs> more, you know, the higher quality stuff, not the just the basic loot. Nope, yep, we can't do that. All right, you know what? Let's, um, I... It's taken me longer than I want it to here. Uh, let's just poke our head down here. Oh, let's not just poke our head down here. All right, we're going to move away from the area and try some other places. Sinks are our main target. It's very difficult to get completely away from the zombos. Um, have we been in here, or was that just a zombie that did that? Oh, my goodness. That guy doesn't have any clothes on. Yeah, that's bookcase is empty let's check the sink yeah we've already looted this place okay time to go oh shit oh I didn't realize he was that close How many Zeeks are we dealing with here? Just four? <coughs> Hopefully that's all. They shouldn't be too hard to kill. Yeah, go through the window, dumbasses. Not through the door. There's someone outside. Nope, I don't see anybody. We got a... Oh, yeah, there is a Marlene outside. There's a fatty, too. Hopefully he stays away. He's going to take too long to kill. This is a T1 Marlene. You know what I think's going on here? Remember, I haven't seen your comments from the last episode when we were talking about the T1 Cowboy Bob. This is probably a game stage thing. So I think the game or the mods throwing harder zombies at me because my game stages are going up. That's my guess anyway. Which means it's going to take more than just two knife hits to kill a lot of these guys. Um... Which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Are you a T1? No, you're not. Are you? Nope. How about you? Nope. So at least they're not all T1s. Unfortunately, Fatty's coming over here. There's no way we're going to be able to avoid him and get into the building. Probably better kill these guys too. Damn it. Can't get anything done. Okay, let's hop in here. Got a bookshelf. Okay, uh, two levels of uh, blunt skill. Okay, we'll take that. And then this is bladed weapons do 5% more damage at night. Hmm, okay, that's not going to be super helpful to us, but we have to put this one on the toolbar to read it. Very nice. We should probably be looking in cars, too, because I think you can find wrenches in cars. Ooh, that's nice. And there's two worms that we need for our thing here. Um, let's take this now and get around this dude
Nice, blueberry pie. We'll take that. Um, scrap this. Take the duct tape. Wouldn't it be nice if we found a toilet pistol? Maybe someday that'll happen. Another sink. Come on, pipe wrench. Hot damn. That's what we're looking for. <laughs> yeah, baby. Okay. Now we can make our workbench. Um, yeah, let's go back and do it. Let's go back and do it. Okay, so the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our vest wrench and put it in here so I don't accidentally consume it. All right, and then um, let's put the brass in here so it can get smelted. Okay, so now for the workbench, um, usually what we need is 25 iron ingots. I will actually look it up, but let's just get what I think we're going to need. Okay, so we got the hammer, we got the wrench, we got the iron. What else do we need? Let's take a look-see here. Workbench. Uh, 20 mechanical parts. And yeah, that's all we need. 20 mechanical parts, which we should have. Mechanical parts. Okay, now, do we have to make this in... We can do that in the personal craft station. Okay, I don't think I don't know if this matters or not, but we're going to just do it anyway. Let's make this this the active quest. Um, uh, we still have to gather nails and a vice. That said gather nails, though, not craft. There we go. All right, nice. Okay, so let's do ourselves a workbench here. Uh, oh, no, we're missing something else. Fiber cordage. Okay. That's what we were missing. Fiber cordage. Um, let's just turn all of this grass into fiber cordage. How much did it say we needed, though? Sorry, I uh, wasn't paying attention. Workbench. Fiber cordage. Uh, Ten. Okay, so we're going to make that in our inventory so, so it doesn't... Uh, we're going to make 10 of these in our inventory so it doesn't take up time in the bench. And then the rest of these, um, I'm going to turn into cordage as well. Okay, now we should be able to make the workbench. Look at that. Oh, man, that's been a long time coming, hasn't it, ladies and gentlemen? Okay, so we have to be inside of this crafting bench in 3 minutes and 30 seconds-ish. So let's make sure we don't forget to do that. But I'm going to put some stuff away while we're waiting. We'll put all this in the food. Oh, I guess we won't put all that in the food because we don't have any room. Um, uh, let's just put in here. That's why I have those bags there for, you know, for overflow, essentially. We should have room for the jars in here, though. And we've got two uh, painkillers, which is great. And we've got a bunch of bandages, which is really good. Really, really, really good. All right, you guys. Well, I'm just going to, I'm, I'm not going to chance anything. I'm just going to wait until this is finished. And then when it's done, we will get credit for the quest and have ourselves a workbench. Man, oh man, we've been waiting a long time for this. While we're waiting, I think I think it's time to, to repair this. Uh, it's got a little bit of durability left, but I just don't want to risk breaking it. Um, so there's actually two things we could do. We have these guys. We could do a combine. I don't know if that would be a better idea. Oh, we have this one too. Then the repair kit. Either way, we're going to lose durability. So I don't know. Let's just... Uh, Let's just use the ones that we currently have, and we'll try combining them. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll combine these three together first, and then whatever's left over from that will combine with this. I hope that's the best way to do it. I'm not really sure, but um, that's that's the plan. Because this pitchfork is just rocking for us, man. Also, just so you guys know, I'm, I'm going to start doing more active killing and not just waiting for the bleed. So I think what we'll do, what we'll start to do is we'll... 
we'll bleed him with the knife, but then we'll we'll hit him with the pitchfork. So I've started kind of doing that anyway, but I'm I'm going to do it more actively just so we can get the kills in more quickly. And uh, yeah, so we're going to do that. And we got a skill point we have to spend too, but let's just wait for this workbench to finish before we do that so I don't forget. Because, you know, old guy and forgetting are synonymous. And there we go. Boom. Got the workbench, and we'll just put it right here next to the compost thingamadoodle. Okay, now we get to craft a table saw. Yay us. Forged iron, mechanical parts, electric parts, springs, screws, and fiber cordage. You know what? We might be able to do that right now. Um, Gather electrical parts. The only thing we might not have enough of is mechanicals. How many mechanicals do I have? Uh, only 13, but we, you know, we have our wrench. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do next, you guys. I think that's what we're going to do next. So, yeah, I'm just going to take our wrench out. Uh, which I put up here and go get some more mechanical parts and other stuff too. And once I have enough of those, let's grab, uh, well, let's just grab everything it currently wants us to grab. So we have 13 of those. Uh, we're going to need 25 forged iron, which is easy peasy. Okay. Um, 10 electrical parts. Four springs, four screws, and ten fiber cordages, which we're making in the thing. Okay, so now let's take these guys and combine them. So that gives us a 249. Hmm. Okay, hold on. Before we commit to this, what does this do? That also just gives us a 249 and doesn't add much to it, which makes sense. What if we just combine these two? Uh, is it because it's got the mod on it? I'll bet you that's what it is. Modify. Okay, that, that gives us a, a blue 429, but only at half health but let's do that okay so now we have a 429 if we add this 242 <clears throat> it knocks it down to 389 and barely gives it more durability because there's barely any durability on there i don't even know if this is worth using uh we might be further ahead just to throw that in the forge and get some iron from it that gets it down to 389 too but if we repair it with a repair kit, yeah, here's the thing. Here's what I'm seeing here. This is not going to give us that much more durability, and it's still not fully repaired. And then, so if we repair it with a repair kit, then it's just going to still go way down. So I'm, I'm thinking maybe we should just repair the rest of this with a repair kit. Either that, or we do this and then wait till it's all the way down again before we repair it a third time. And maybe, you know... By that time, we will have found a uh, a better quality one, or at least a higher quality one to combine. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Okay, so it's done. Let's put the mod back on here. Um, this mod here actually gives us more durability on the weapon, so that's uh, plus more damage and all that, too. And then this pitchfork, we're just going to throw in here and melt it down, because it's just not there's not enough left on it to make it worth using for combining. And, you know, it might be that in the long run, it's it's it all turns out the same. It's all just a matter of numbers. That could be. It probably is, in fact, but I don't know that for sure. So, okay, so we got our wrench here, and uh, I got a couple extra repair kits to use on the wrench when the time comes. So what I'm going to do, guys, is just go out and wrench a few more cars until we get um, 20 of these, which shouldn't take long at all, and then we'll make ourselves a table saw. Okay, let's grab our fiber cordage out of here. And get started with our table saw. Um, table saw. Table saw. Here we go. Oh, my goodness. Are you saying it's it's locked? 
What? Okay, so we have to learn the table saw schematic before we can make it. Who to thunk? Shit. <laughs> Damn it. All right, well, yeah. So we're going to have to put this on hold because we can't do it right now. Uh, we have access to a table saw that works across the way there. So, um, shoot. Okay, well, we got some new parts out of the deal, so it wasn't a total loss. This is going to go in here. And why isn't this turned on? I thought I put some wood in there. I must not have. Oh, does this not... It doesn't let us melt it down. Oh, shoot. Okay, can we scrap it? Uh, we can equip, repair, modifier, drop. I guess we're going to drop it because we can't do anything else with it. Damn it. Um. Well, okay, hold on a sec. How much will it lower the durability if we just combine it with this guy? If it only lowers it a couple of points, then we might as well do it. If it lowers it more than, say, 5 or 10 then I'm not going to do it. Uh, where did the other pitchfork go? It's... It's gone. It just disappeared. <laughs> it's not on the ground. Oh, it's in my number two slot. Okay. I was going to say, man, what the hell? Okay, so this is 389. Yeah, we lose we lose a lot of durability on that. I mean, like 20, 20 points of durability. Or no, 40 points of durability. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Okay, so that means that this other pitchfork, which I seem to have lost again. It's not on my toolbar this time. Where in the hell is it at? Uh, I don't know. Oh, no, I did it. Son of a bitch. <laughs> okay, well, whatever. It is what it is. <laughs> I actually did. I didn't mean to do that, but shit happens, right? Shit happens. Okay, well, we're going to just put all this stuff in here for now, and, you know, it'll be ready for us later on uh, when the time comes to, to make that stuff. Doggone it. I'm irritated with myself for doing that. Okay, we'll put the... We don't have any room left in the food, so I have some seed stuff in here. Um, and we got a little bit of overflow going on here, so yeah, let's do that. Um, we might as well eat this blueberry pie. Maybe we'll wait just a little bit longer. What was I going to put in here? Oh, the cordage. Nope, we don't have room for the cordage in there either. Goodness gracious, is there stuff in here we could actually... We don't need to have in here. Um, we're going to have to probably just build a larger storage bin here pretty soon. Here, let's pull that out and we'll put the cordage in there because I have extra clay in here where, oop, I don't have any room for it in here either. Here, let's just get rid of that. Okay, we'll turn these into nails. That kind of sucks that we can't do the table saw, but, you know, we need, we need to learn the schematic for it. So that's the, that's the deal, yo. That is the deal. Well, guys, um, I think we're probably at a at a stopping point here. There's not a whole lot of time left to do anything. I mean, we could go loot a few more houses, but uh, the recording's gone for over 40 minutes, and I need, I'm gonna have to do some editing. But just trying to think if there's anything else we could do for the rest of this episode. Um, nah, you know what? I think I'm going to end it here. Uh, so this, this might be a little shorter than, than the usual, but, uh, sometimes that's just the best thing to do. Uh, so yeah, we're going to end the episode here. And then in the next episode, you know, we've got uh, three more days till horde night. So I think really what we should probably do is just really start focusing on looting. Um, that's going to be our best bet. I'm, I'm not really in a position yet to where I can do any kind of extensive building. So, you know, building a, a base or even fixing up a POI is, is still not, in my opinion, feasible yet. It will be, but it's not quite yet. Um, so yeah, probably in the next episode, maybe the next two or three episodes, we're just going to loot and try and hit all of the, the structures in this town first, you know, make sure we've looted everything here and then we'll move over to our neighbor neighboring town 
and start looting there. And, you know, maybe eventually we will move down to this, this much bigger city that we found with all the gas pumps in it, too. So, yeah, lots of stuff there. And, of course, there's more exploration that we need to do, too. I still want to ultimately find a desert so we have a source of oil shale. Okay, guys, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.